Hello and welcome to the 45th tutorial on the Cocoa Studio Conversion 3 C++ tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at how to add a menu image item to our existing menu. If you're doing this tutorial, this tutorial seems you've done tutorial 44. If you haven't done it, there'll be a link in the description to the source code or you can implement it directly into your own project. Plus there'll be another link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. What we're just going to do is just go to our header file. So we're just going to create a new function here. We're going to call it void image button because this will be the function that we call when the image button is clicked. Put ref asterisk piece and uh, now we can just go to our CPP. Now what we can do here, zoom in a little more, is just there we go. Uh, we can just add a new menu item. So auto menu underscore item underscore four equals menu item image. We just do colon colon create, and we're just simply gonna do uh, this one here. And we are just going to put the image that we want. So the normal image for that, we are going to put close normal dot png. For this, I'm going to put close selected dot png. And this is the image that appears when you don't do anything to the button and it's just there. This is the image that appears when you're clicking it, this image that appears when it's disabled, we're just going to get rid of this because we don't, we're not going to use this one. And this is just a function that's going to get called when the button is clicked. So it's going to be cc underscore callback one. Selector will be hello world colon colon. It was called image button. And for the target, we can just put this. Got a semicolon. And now the next thing that we need to do set the position of it. If you remember from the previous tutorial how we set the position for the y-axis we'll have to slightly modify it and we've got more items than that but we'll just get to that in a second. Set position point do visible so it's that we're so centered in the x-axis comma now for this section we're going to do visible so the height Divide by 5 because we're doing it based on the number of elements plus 1 and now we have 4 elements so it's going to be 5 times by 1 because we'll have this at the bottom we'll just modify these accordingly like so we got more menu items you probably naturally want to do this in some sort of loop so you can add more menu items easily using some sort of array and then it doesn't matter, you just add the item then you're automatically positioning, that's probably what you would naturally do, especially if you know you're going to be changing it a lot. And then the next thing you just put it in here, menu underscore item 4. Now the final thing to do is simply declare, I mean implement our function, so it's void hello world image button Leave the parameter the same in theory, we can just copy and paste this. Let's do cc log. And in here, we're going to say image button. Now let's just save this and run. Okay, here we go, we've got the play button, with the high scores, got the settings, and now this is the button that we put in there. And as you can now see, this is a normal image. When I click on it, it sort of it becomes selected because that's what it looks like, which is pretty cool. Maybe you want a larger image, smaller image, maybe you want it to do something else. But when you click on it, it says image button.
that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at I mean, menu alignment. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. The email will be in the description, or you can comment on this video or directly message us via YouTube. Also, all the required links for the source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching and have a nice day.